first turn the machine on, the on-off switch is located on the back side of the machine. Now let's talk about the function keys on the front panel of the machine and what each one of them does. This key is called AE in the manual. Key AE toggles between the program setting for the wire, metal thickness, wire speed, and amperage modes for the display. If we push it until the light is on above the program and we turn the knob under it, it changes the program to the program for the wire and gas that we are using for the welds we are doing. There is a chart located inside the covers on the drive bays that gives you a listing of the different program numbers and what wires and gas mixtures are used for that program. Pushing the AE key a second time gets us into the metal thickness mode. In this mode, the display tells us the thickness of the two materials that we are welding together as a starting point for the weld. Turning the knob to the right, adjust the metal thickness higher. Turning it to the left, adjust the metal thickness lower. Toggling the AE key again changes the display from metal thickness to wire speed in meters per minute. Again, turning it to the left, lowers the meters per minute to wire speed to the right, raises the minutes per minute to wire speed. Toggling the AE key in again, changes it to the amperage mode and changes the display from wire speed to amperages that we are using to weld, giving us the amperage of the final weld. All three of these modes, when we are adjusting this knob, what we are doing is we are changing the wire speed of the machine with that adjustment. All we are doing here is changing the display and how that is referenced to us. It's a razor referencing it as the thickness of the metal, the wire speed, or the amperage of the final welding current. This key is function key AO. It changes the welding process that we are using. With the light all the way to the left, we are in pulse MIG mode. We toggle function key AO to where it is a straight line and says MIG. We are now in synergic MIG mode. In this mode again, turning this knob to the right increases the welding amperage. Turning it to the left decreases the welding amperage. Toggling the AO key one more time takes us into conventional MIG mode where the machine functions as a conventional MIG you are used to. Now the left knob sets the wire speed and the right knob sets the voltage. And we have to balance those two ourselves because the machine is no longer synergically balancing them for us. The next function key we have here is the trigger selection key. This allows us to toggle between a two-step trigger and a four-step trigger on the welding torch. Pushing it once, two-step. Pushing it twice, four-step. The next function key over is a job key. This key allows us to go into a job or a programming mode where we can save up to 99 different welding parameters for jobs that we typically do on a vehicle. If we have a typical setting and we want to save that function so the next time we go in we don't have to reset every one of those parameters, we can save all those parameters to a job mode. The next function key over is the gas purge key. This key allows us to test the flow of the shielding gas and to set the flow rate on our regulator by allowing the gas to come out without feeding wire. The next function key over does the exact opposite function. It allows us to feed wire and test the wire feed without having the gas flow come on or the wire to be able to strike an arc.